All right, I think we're just going to come right in hot. All right, cool. What's up, guys? Big shout out to MJ and Stocktaker69. They don't let me get a water break. Instead, they're going to go right immediately into the Losers' quarterfinals. So we're still in the best of five territory, although this is the uh, last stop here for one of these guys. And as I uh, brought up earlier while we were giving a bit of a pregame for MJ versus Kofi, uh, MJ has defeated Stocktaker once before. They previously played at Super Smash Con of this year, where he managed a 2-1 uh, victory. But was that versus the Palu? That, that was is not. the question. That was against, uh, I believe, All Wolf for that okay. one. I do think Palu does uh, well in this matchup. Uh, Rob is a taller character, so Rising Nair is more of a threat more often. And <laughs> if Rising Nair is a threat, <laughs> you're probably not going to have fun versus Palu because <laughs> that is a very good move. And of course, just you, you have the Reflector, I just feel like Paulo has great tools against Rob, for sure. Yeah, even in Smash 4, she was a great anti-zoning character. Everything in her kit let her break zone really well, and then even mitigate a lot of projectile pressure. We'll be seeing plenty of that from her in this game, from back air to dash attack, providing safe leverage to Stock Taker, to plenty of reliable kill moves. It's going to be on MJ to figure out how he can break through to Palutena and kill her before Stock Taker can really cement the lead. Yeah, and it's Paulo has so many solid kill options as well. Like even when you hit that 150-ish mark, like stray nair becomes like just just a nair can kill you. So it's super spooky. She has a frame seven grab that has the range of a tether grab. Uh, most people will say so. Oh, it's so good. She has easily one of the best standing grabs in the entire game. Yeah, for sure. So um, yeah, and I mean we see Stocktaker taking advantage of all these great traits uh, that Paula brings to the table here, um, and Paula Tana is a very popular character in New York. I've seen your guys' PR, so uh, yes. definitely has a lot of Paulus. Paula Tana is, I feel like the de facto tri-state character, very well represented across plenty of people besides Stocktaker, but with yeah. good reason. This is a very great jack of all trades character. I feel. Oh yeah, like, I mean just a, a very good meta character, and I mean. <laughs> Guess what, guys? If you want to play to win, you might want to pick a good character. So Paulo definitely fallen into that category. While I don't feel she is nearly as solo viable as a lot of players and personalities will argue, okay. I feel like a lot of her tools fit so many general situations and, more importantly, play styles. I feel like Paulo Ten is a great type of character to shut down certain play styles. So even if the matchup may not be as favorable or just sort of like a messy matchup, if it's good against the player, like it could shut down so much, so much, so fast. Yeah, I, I do feel like Politana is the Smash Four cloud of this game, where it's like it's a very co copy paste of your fundamental. You know what I mean? And you don't really, she's not super technical. So you, you, you and most of the time, like Paulu just her matchup spread is so good in terms of like against mid tiers and low tiers. So right. if, if your character loses to like some weird mid tier or low tier, Politana probably destroys the character. Yeah, she's a great gatekeeper character, I would say, to that yes, notion. Yes, yes, for sure. But Rob, probably a bit more difficult to gatekeep than other zoning characters. As we established earlier, he's got the sauce. And MJ is no stranger to delivering the sauce where it's needed. Yeah, here comes the pressure, the down tilts. But here comes the Nair to thwart all of that. Another Nair to follow. And right now, just looks like MJ taking so much damage from Stalktaker. Like, this is where Rob's size as a negative factor really comes into play because Stock yes. does not have to worry too hard about spacing his nares properly. If yeah. MJ even thinks about approaching, he's eating in there. Maybe not the whole nair, but he's eating some nair. Oh, right. And then you're you're just mainly going to be spacing with these back airs and forward airs, but you can also mix in just like, oh, I'm also just going to rising short hop nair right here in this general area. And it's just so hard to beat that air to air, especially if you're Rob. A lot of your arrows are a little slower, of course, with the exception of forward air being pretty quick. Like, forward air is quick, but... Oh, what a great read! Oh, wow, and that kills him. That that was like 97-ish after the hit. So a very, very early kill from MJ, and that back air, not the quickest move, but it, it lingers for a very, very long time and can catch a lot of people off guard, just like he caught uh, Stocktaker off guard right there on that game number one. That was really good reversal is going to see the immediate switch to Wii Fit Trainer. So... I'll just be out and Dang, say it. You, said, that you I said immediate switch. Yeah, that was a frame one. That token dropped right on Wii Fit. Dang, that so was like, immediate switch. I don't think this was the best play Ooh. On, on paper. On paper, oh, okay, I think okay. Palutena should have stayed around. Okay. For Stock Taker, though, not always one to play by the rules. And when All it right, comes to fighting other zoning characters, 
His Wii Fit plays in a way where it actually counters zones fairly well and can break zone. So it's almost like a bizarro version of poly what Palutena is meant to do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's working out so far. I kind of agree um, with the should have stuck with Palu just because, like, you were in control the whole time, right? But if he feels comfortable with this matchup, then so be it. it looks like it's doing uh, really well for him so far on the ledge here. Oh, and that backwards hit of the forward tilt. The up air yep. also beating him out. Going to take MJ's first stock. And this is why I wasn't completely against the Wii Fit. I just feel like this is such, this is such a stock taker thing to do. Right. Where, like, he had game one, and MJ managed to just outplay him in just a couple of moments where it really mattered. Right, And right, so seeing right. a Switch is such a radically different style of character, it works because he knows how he needs to play this Wii Fit, especially on a stage like Town and City, where there's a ton of space to be able to decide, all right, I want to go in, or all right, I need to hang back. And right. like, where you decide to do that can make a lot of a difference. Yeah, and Wii Fit definitely, uh, if you have a really good Wii Fit, nine times out of 10, your opponent probably doesn't know the Wii Fit matchup too well, so you can always bring it in as a curveball pick too. So definitely uh, working out in that regard. Still three stocks here for Stock Taker. Uh, be right to the ledge. Catches the roll, though. MJ will go ahead and wipe that first stock off the map. He does, but he's still bleeding here. 110. He's going to have to work fast if he wants to try and make up this damage deficit. Yeah, and I feel like the projectiles are at least, like, more powerful in a sense of kill power, just like that, for Stock Taker. You know what I mean? Just because that... the. The Sun Salutation just is a kill move, does a lot of damage <laughs> burst-wise. Yo, it did 22! Yeah, <sighs> yeah, really, really good. And it's gonna, I don't know if it goes through the top, but it's, you know, the, the, it'll, the laser and the Sun Salutation will go through each other. Maybe was, damage is the aspect of this match. Of ooh, this that match. was cute. Out of shield there with the, uh, the Z-drop, the jump Z-drop. That's one thing to always appreciate about Rob players, when they know how to effectively use their item. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm such a big fan of item play in, in Smash in general, but, like, especially if your character generates an item, you best be adept at utilizing it in every way you can. And we've seen MJ have pretty smart setups with Gyro so far, but keeping it in his uh, clamps, as it were, oh, definitely there's something no double jump. About. Yep. And that's going to be a layup there for MJ. Just going to go right on ahead and take that. <laughs> but the pivot tilt with the deep breathing, what do you do? And just like that, Stock Taker is going to take game number two with the curveball pick, man. The Wii Fit Trainer is something we saw a little earlier. We saw it game three versus tweet. We saw it a lot in doubles, right? So definitely not the first time we're seeing this uh, Wii Fit taking its uh, debut here, but definitely working out. <laughs> Man, he's going to stick this Wii Fit Trainer. This thing's staying yeah. the whole way through. I mean, he, he that was a very dominant game. I don't really see him switching off of Wii Fit. I mean, we might see him switch maybe back into the Palu. I don't know how confident he is in this in this particular matchup with Wolf. Um, I know for the most part he's a Wolf main, right? It's it's hard to say. He he claims himself to be a Wolf and Palutena dual main. Okay. But... He plays an equal amount of so many characters, it's it's difficult to pin Stock Taker at times. And his reasonings for why he picks into what he does are fairly abstract. Hey so man, like, Sometimes it's just your mood. It, it's really just he feels the flow. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, he'll change it up. Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's perfectly fine. You always want to go with what you're comfortable with, right? Indeed. And to that end, I feel like MJ has a good character on his hands to at least disrupt that flow as best as he can. Ooh, that was a very nice conversion. The Nair 1 didn't connect into the Nair 2 there and hit the back here. If he had deep breathing active, it might have almost killed there. Because I mean, You see how powerful Oh, that almost is. killed from the other side of the stage. Right. Yeah, if deep breathing was active, that super would have killed back then. But the forward tilt, again, such a consistent move we see uh, Stock Taker bring out, especially with the deep breathing, right, to take some a lot of these stocks, actually. Forward tilt from from Wii Fit is, you can think of it the same way that a Lucina would use their forward tilt. Yeah. You're just trying to reach as far as you can, as quick as you can, get your poke. But when you have that buff added to you, it's such a dangerous tool because now it's threatening kill. And on top of that, Man. you can't safely approach from behind. Bro. Bro, this Wii Fit is going in right now, man. 
Jeez. Stock Taker is demolishing MJ right now. Like, damn. Okay, we got the snipe, though. But, gee, I just. Yeah, man, you didn't expect he's this. Like, well, he's a, the, the crazy thing is he's rushing him down, too. He's, like, rushing him down, crossing him up, hitting the, these nair into up airs. Like, just feels like MJ doesn't have any room to breathe. And that's what I was talking about earlier is that he has developed this Wii Fit in in such an unorthodox manner where you would never expect a character whose kit is so well acclimated to zoning to be fit for counter zoning, for rushing down and constantly breaking through a character who is so good at playing a mobile fortress game like Rob. Yeah, now, now we're getting spicy. We're, we want down air spikes. Like, oh, we're going I, all the way. I up feel like Stock Taker. This is the point of the the match where it's like, what kind of cool kill do I want to get? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's definitely what Stock Taker's thinking right now. He's definitely got that heavy enough of a lead to justify that type of degeneracy. <laughs> look, look at this. My man's sitting at 149, just now having control of the ledge after how long? Ducking under back airs is Stock Taker. Yeah, you were talking about that earlier, right? The uh, the crouch being very very strong. And forward throw, not gonna kill, not with the deep breathing out. But it's back. I know we fits back throw kills. <laughs> How did that hit him? It extended through the gyro Dude, that like, MJ put out. That range was kind of wanky, uh, man. Damn. There's, it's. Uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him as as one of his teammates. Dude, this we fits going in, bro. Uh, and the, Dude, and, and Sock Taker's face, dude, he's, he's so serious right now. Like, he Oh, just... no, he's it. So we're, we're <laughs> yucking it up back here. We're having a grand old time. I, I'm sure the audience is enjoying the escapades. He wants to destroy this man's career. Oh, absolutely. He's here. Trainer. Like, that is what he's here to do. Like, that store-bought mannequin is the face of a stone-cold killer. And we may very well see the complete reversal from this Wii Fit. As Stock Taker sits a game up, and we're going to Yoshi's story for game four. Now, I understand why MJ would want this. He's gonna want okay. the, those tighter in blast zones. He's gonna want those platforms to play. He even has a little bit of a slant to play around with. And slant play kind of gives you extended ledge play. Yeah. But yeah. do you really want to be in a position where you could die earlier? Yes, you do. Yep. When you get your first side be confirmed of the top eight. That's what I like to see out of Rob. Yeah, very, very clean stuff. And Rob can just take very early stocks with that confirm on any stage, but even earlier, like you said, on this Yoshi platform. But right now, Stock Taker answering back, not taking any damage so far. Seemingly going to return the favor to MJ, but he's going to take a little bit of damage Jesus. before he does it. Back air from center stage. And he was just, like, super dead. That wasn't even like, is he dead? Question mark. Like, that was like, wow, you're, you're dead. <laughs> and this is within the first minute of the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've instantly entered two stock territory. MJ taking a bit of burn from these uh, this projectile war that deep the two of them are part. Deep breathing backer is crazy, bro. Yeah, man. Deep breathing is wild. The fact that backer is that quick and that powerful with deep breathing is pretty crazy. And right now, stock taker is using just using it greatly, man. It's, he's getting so much value out of every deep breathing he does. And just like the moves he pairs it with, too, it just makes so much sense. Like, you know the spectacle of landing sweet spot back air out of shield with Zelda? Yeah. Imagine if that could just be fully weaponized as a character. That's where we Fit Trainer with deep breathing sits. Because that's exactly where Stock Taker is sitting. Having managed to completely rip the second stock away from MJ, MJ needing to take out all the stops. Yeah, and I mean, it's crazy to believe that this game started with a zero to death from MJ and it is even last stock right now. 34%, and right now, MJ going to take the lead here, but, oof, like, forward tilt the forward tilt? <laughs> Very interesting combo there. Oh, but right now, MJ with the center stage control on these tri-platform layouts. Very, very important. Yeah, we see MJ pressing all the fast buttons here now, and with good reason. He needs to make sure that he maintains his presence in this battle. Oh, the back hit of the forward tilt. Oh, tried to get the forward smash. Scoops him with the up smash, though. MJ... Not going to be quite enough kill power on that, but can he finish it off here? He could have done it with drop zone Ooh, side B, but roll. instead, roll read and up smash brings us all the way into game five. Another one for the night. All right, so here you have come to this crossroads, Stock Taker. Will you go We Fit on your counter pick, or will you get off We Fit? Knowing him, I mean, yes. Yes, he will. Oh, you Especially think he's going to get off the We Fit? No, he's going to stay We Fit. As yeah, I think, I think you stay We Fit here because, because you get the counter pick, right? Like, I, I, I definitely feel like you stay with the refit. It's definitely been very promising 
And that last game literally started off with him Nair confirming you in the side B. Like, that, that'll happen, but will it happen again? Let's see if it can. Unova Pokemon League is going to be our setting for game five. And I like to describe the stage as a claustrophobic version of Pokemon Stadium. Okay. Where, like, platform layout, fairly similar. Correct. The layout in general, fairly similar, but everything's just a little bit tighter in. Everything's a little bit wider as far as the platforms are concerned. But, like, generally speaking now, you don't have as much space in center stage to play around with. It's very focused in to a box because of how wide those plats are and how close they are in proximity to the ledge. Yeah, exactly. That's going to give a lot of value to playing out from center stage as well as denying landing space because if you could deny the center stage, you're right there for the plats. And if you're there for the plats, you could shark them. So there's no free landing space here. Yeah. And I mean, even if they do land on the platform, they're kind of like fanned out more towards the edge. So you have the stage control on your side. Oh, are you going to get a punch on that? No, it was a little too low. But the forward tilt trade will do it here for Stalktaker. And now he is up. MJ trying to get the stock up tilt up air. Not going to connect. The air dodge does come out for Stalktaker. Oh, try to get the cross up. No, he goes right into a block string with the up tilt. But the back air hits. But it doesn't kill. Great DI from Stalktaker. Keeps him in it. And he's just picking in a little bits of damage. I feel like he's going to be a bit more wary. Wow. Hold on. He got hit by the ball, so we don't see the spin get its kill. Yeah, that was wild. And because of that, he's still living here. We'll see if he's able to get back on stage and really make a count. There's the header getting in that chip damage. Man, that's crazy. The ball actually <laughs> saved him in that situation. And look, he's at 188, man. You know, we talked about how Rob doesn't struggle to kill too much. But it's going to be that down air that manages to secure it, finally. And when you got the soccer ball assist, you know, it can, it can be pretty rough to close it out. Okay, here's the Nair. Ooh. Very nice 20% piece together. Just get that safe for sure damage. It's what you need. You can't let Stocktaker run away with this damage. They get 96 is essentially kill percentage. If he's, got deep, if he's got his deep breathing and if the battle moves itself to the ledge in Stock's favor, it's not a pretty sight as we've already seen, as this up air constantly manages to beat out a lot of Rob's aerial reversals. I like the headers, too. He just spaces himself right outside of range of some big move. The forward tilt almost killing cross stage here with the deep breathing. It waits for it. Ooh, the forward tilt it's still just a lingering threat. There it is, and it's, look at how safe that is. It just, MJ just does not have an answer out of shield for it. Up, up air, air, yeah. Just like I was saying, sharking those platforms deadly. Stock Taker sits only at 54% on his second stock, and MJ has got tournament life on the line as the New York crowd starts to grow wild. All right, well, MJ taking a lot of time up there in the skies, just maybe thinking about what is, uh, sometimes you just gotta, you need a little pause, right? You need a little pause button, but you can't actually press the pause button, so you kind of stall out for a little bit. Man, coming right back down and getting lapped in percent here, Stock Taker with all the momentum this game, number five. There's the crouch you're talking about, of course. Still going to be a very good tool to, especially like against laser and stuff like that, going to be really good. Not top so much, just because top gets shot out from such a low angle. Like, as long as Stock Taker continues to move in as he ducks, it's a perfect response to laser because its downwards arc doesn't actually cover that space. Right, right. Oh, wow. amazing chase from MJ. And he's not going to get his read. With deep breathing buff, that's not going to kill, but it gives Stock another opportunity to establish his resources. Man, and look at this pressure. That was a shield poke right there. And MJ is trying to stall for as much time as he can, but how much time is Stalktaker going to give him? He, he needs to make some kind of play happen, too. I mean, that's why we saw some of the up, like, up smash and forward smashes earlier. There's the downer. Doesn't connect. Oh, he got the read, but he oh, missed it. That sucks. That. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. It's up throw threatens kill. It's going to establish more damage. Oh, man, I mean, he's at 168%, man. There's so much things that can kill him. Are we going to get another deep breathing going? No, just going to go right up for the grab. Oh, back throw is not killing, not from that point, but it's giving him enough time to get deep breathing on and now damn near anything. And a wee fit stock is going to kill, and forward tilt is going to pierce, and game five goes to stock taker 69.